go over that. Uh, add a base. Uh, adjust it. And then add uh, these uh, the, these parts. Duplicate it to each corner. Not like complete corners, but the side corners. Now, uh, duplicate all of them. Add another one on top. And for the front, let's say this is the front, right? Oh, for it, not right. Yeah, anyways. So you fit this is the front, right? Because the, let's just, this is an indicator, okay? Just for you for the viewers, it's not really useful for the model. And then uh for in the front, select these lower parts and uh, extend it. Uh duplicate it and yeah, do that. And then uh raise all these parts up. May give space. Uh select the color. And then set the size, uh, rotate. What am I struggling? Stop! There. And then do add a wheel for each the lower part. When you're done with that. Uh, it's time for the constraints. Uh, select uh, select s spring constraint. Oh yeah, also, also turn the both of these on, either with Alt-W-A, uh, I forgot what was this again, Alt-D, uh, you can select these by clicking on them, or Alt-W or Alt-D, and then press, uh, select spring, no, oh, freak, no, uh, spring, and select, uh, connect these, connect these together, uh, these two parts. Now the suspension is ready, and then remember, if you don't add a prismatic constraint, it's gonna be wobbly and it's not gonna work well. So remember to add them. Test all these uh, things if you want. Uh, frick! Stop it! Uh, there, 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 there. So remember, do not add like a new. Uh, uh, Attachment or else it's gonna co potentially cause more lag now for the steers Add uh, connect the lower parts of the front uh, front uh, uh, studs well, Blocks I guess with that now like that and for the motors It's very simple. Just do just connect them again with hinges Connect them. Yeah Uh, so and then and then the next thing, uh, I forgot the vehicle seat. Vehicle seat. We add the vehicle seat. Show the orientation of the character and make it face the where the front. So that is the front, right? Rotate, and now it's facing the other way. The the actual front. And after you're done with that, uh, select. Uh, select all the constraints. Uh, no, actually not yet. So turn this off first, so it's easier to select. Select all of these. Control G. And after you're done with that, select every single constraint. Uh, select every single constraint: the steers, the motors, and uh, the prismatics, and the springs. Uh, control Alt G to put them in the folder. You rename this how you like. I'm gonna name it constraints, and for the rest of the parts, I'm gonna rename. I'm gonna put them in the. Oh frick! The frick! Like that. And you're done. After we're done with that, put the. Uh, turn that off again. Uh, Alt, if you want to pick a part to select a part that is inside a model. Because as you can see, I can't really do it now. But if you press Alt, I can press the base even though it's in the model. So now Alt and do that. Put control. Put the the vehicle seat outside though. Uh, and then folder we name this to parts. Uh, see, it's I haven't put any welds yet. If you don't have any, well, if you don't have any uh welds, it's not. It's gonna kind of shatter into pieces. It's not gonna. It, it needs a weld to connect. So connect it to the upper parts and the vehicle seat. There. Uh, and then you're done with that. Uh, what am I doing? What do I do again? 
uh, once we're done with all of that, select all the motors, these ones, uh, uh, facing the other way. So I uh, change them to motor, rename them to motor if you can, if you want. Uh, and then, oh, come on. There. I'm going to move this to the constraints now. There. That did not include what the frick. And I select these hinges now. And then select servo. Nothing else. Don't need to rename them. You can rename them if you want. Put them in different folders. And where they're supposed to be. Uh, cards. Once you're done with that, add a script. And then add variables. Constraints equals to uh, car dot constraints local c equals to car car dot local c and then to detect actually put in uh, the, the number of variables first like speed and steer steer angle and then the next thing you're gonna do is to find where these hinges so and to detect when when you when it goes so. Seat, uh, the seat already has a, uh, a para, a par is it called para, yeah, para, property that detects when you go forwards, backwards, or steer, so steer, seat, instead of dot change, you can do get property change signal, put the property in with these, uh, the, the what is, it? whatever this is called, I forgot, throttle float, and remember the name is ex needs to be exact or else, yeah, yeah, it won't work. It won't find it. Connect it into a function. After you're done with that, uh, find all those parts for i. Uh, instead of adding a variable for each part, you can add, and you can do this. Constraint in pairs. Constraints get children. And, it, and to find out if it's it, to find out if it's a hinge, or to find out if it's a hinge, and it has an actuator type of motor, you can do if constraint constraint uh, is say with a colon uh, hinge constraint and constraint dot uh, what, it, what is it called uh, constraint dot actuator type equals to enum that actuator type dot mother once you're done with that constraints constraint dot angular velocity equals to speed right but if you're gonna if you're gonna keep keep it to speed, remember to because if you keep it like that, it will break and it will only go one direction. Excuse me. I'm gonna first change all this. Uh, Something happening with stiffness. Twenty-five thousand. Oh, that's way too much. When that's done, as you can see, and it's still low because I forgot to add the free length of these things, th these dumb springs. Uh, free length too. You can add limits, but it's recommended to add limits because if you don't, uh, your car is gonna. The wheels might jitter and bug out. Now I'm gonna demonstrate to you what happens if you just only write down speed. I'm gonna press S. I'm, I'm, my hands are off the keyboard. I press uh, S, it goes for. Yeah, here, uh, there's another problem I forgot to mention. So, uh, select these motors, the motors at the right, and make, make detachments face left. There, like that. Because if you don't, it's gonna keep on fighting and I'm just gonna like keep on rotating. And once that's finished. I'm gonna play test again. Here, I'm not. My hands are off the keyboard. I'm not doing anything. But once I press S, it, watch it go forward. I'm gonna release. It's continuing. It's not doing anything. So uh, what you're gonna do is add times uh, seat dot throttle float throttle float because it 
if you go at if you go backwards it's actually gonna set as a negative value so it's gonna go backwards instead of forwards so now it's gonna work and because if you're not uh, doing any inputs at all it's gonna set as zero so it's actually gonna stop see I, I can go back now at least stopping it works now and now for the steering the next thing you're gonna do the, just don't play just copy all this control C and control V you can control X and just control V you can control X just deletes and copies it at the same time uh, so instead of uh, uh, change this to steer float the, the the property inside the get property change signal function and then switch this to servo so I actually find the steers instead of the motors and then I'm gonna change this target angle dot equals to steer and if you're again if you're gonna keep it in steer it's not gonna work well watch I'm trying to put wait I'm, I'm I'm pressing what the frick is happening pressing left I'm pressing a and it's not working it's not working well hmm I forgot to mention I, why do I keep forgetting this singular part uh make these parts here uh, uncollidable. I keep forgetting. Uncollidable. Make make the mass less if you want. It's I recommend. Uh, I just do it. And add make add a no collision constraint from the base to the each uh, wheel so it doesn't so the wheels doesn't collide to the the base or the base doesn't collide to the wheels. Now that's done. I'm gonna it, I can demonstrate it properly now. Since it face uh, left right, I'm gonna press A now. And it's gonna face right. See, it doesn't work, right? I'm I'm trying to go left, but it's facing right. So again, I'm, we're gonna add this, uh, this again. But instead of using, instead of throttle bolt, it switches to steer float. Now it's gonna work. Made a working car. Congratulations! I'm gonna play with this for five years. Here are some uh, other things I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, I do. Instead of setting these to plastic, I like uh, I'd rather I'd set these to rubber so it has grip on the ground. It actually doesn't slide much, so it's just moves I guess. Like look. Oh what the freak! Um, if you want, if you if you want to prevent it from going five bajillion miles per hour. Uh, s lower down the torque, or end the the acceleration, so it actually lower slows down instead of going. Up. Yeah, now it works as you can see. It's, it works really well. It's, yay! So uh, thank you for watching. Now I'm gonna play with this for six years. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you understood because this is my first time making a tutorial. I I <laughs> Okay anyways. So thank you for watching, hope you understood and was able to follow with and uh see you on the next tutorial I guess. Bye